Okay, so here we are in the van, and uh, th this is not the Instagram version of van life because I'll give you a little scan of what's going on here and a repair that I'm making today and uh, what we're into. So anyway, let, let, this is real van life right here. I've got all kinds of tools out. Janet's over here. Excuse me. Janet's Janet's you over here. Filming. I was busy doing. She's stuff. over here hardly working. And anyway, the real work is being done at this end of the van. So anyway, basically what I have here is these door handles that I bought. They, um, they're put on and when you, uh, they're kind of a pain. Anyway, what they have is a little cap right here and they're hollow. So they're like this. They're a thin metal. And when you torque them down, there's really no way to put any pressure on them because, as you can see, here's one here. The piece right here, it's not like you can put pressure on it to screw in the back. So what I have done is I've gone and I've bought screws right there that I can put a screwdriver on and uh, tighten them down because what I have to do now I'll, I'll turn you around here and uh, just show you what I'm into here. Okay, there's my uh, little workshop here. Okay, so this is the original one, as I said, and it's, it's a thin metal. Now, what happens is when you put them on, uh, yeah, when you put them on up against the cabinetry, this is just all hollow. And, and because it's um, very thin, what happens is they become crushed. If you hit them or anything of that manner and as you can see there is the two and they're, they're not in good shape so what I have to do is I have to reshape them and I did figure out a little work around with that it just so happens when I take a good one and I have a socket that fits in the socket perfectly then what I have is a uh, uh, a socket on a extension that just so happens to fit in the other piece so what I'm doing now is I'm taking them putting them in the socket to hold the outer edge taking this and simply banging down and stretching it the opposite way and it's it's not going to be perfect because of course these were done in a machine shop in some far off land and all I want to do is create a situation where I have enough depth to this that I can back it with bolts and um, other material and now here, here's one that I've done I've got it reshaped with the new bolt so now that allows me to come in here And when I get the screwdriver right here, yeah, so I can hold it with pliers. Tighten it as much as I'm thinking it's going to be safe. Now, what I can do is I put a little washer and a bigger washer on there. And if you look, that is the same depth as the edge of this. So now when I put it back into the cabinet and put the last oop, last screw on, or bolt, I can torque that down inside the cabinet and it won't compress anymore because it's made up with solid metal. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, there's 10 of them and uh, seems like a, a million components. So anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing. And I'll show you the finished product when I'm done because there are... I think three of them compressed so I figure if I'm gonna do them I might as well do them all so this is what we're into today and as you can see this is the real life Look at Janet focusing what hey are you talking to me no <laughs> I said you're focusing I'm working you're working working one of us has to yeah right okay anyway Carry on. Okay, so there's another job done. 
and typical to the way the things work it doesn't look any different than before when I started so anyway they're all in and uh, uh, they do feel much more stable so I'm anticipating uh, no more problems other than if they do work loose I, I may put a uh, lock washer behind each uh, one of the uh, uh, nuts so anyway time will tell and uh, like I said there we are and it looks good just like it was before so anyway I've done my work. I'm fixing yours. <laughs> oh, she's fixing mine. <laughs> so, we're pretty wild and crazy people. Here's our van life on a Saturday night. Yes, people, he sews. She said I'm a free man, free to do just what I like, but I just don't seem to like what's new to me. Now I'm no one's man, and these dreams that I've been walking, they make me feel like nothing. I tell my friends it's here where we begin. I say I'm better than I've ever been. It's like an enemy's best case. So what? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> how many times can we say so? Uh, we decided we should do a nice little trim on the bottom of our curtains because they're fraying a little bit because we did just cut them off at the time we put them together in the original, oh, a year ago, put them together like that. So Rob bought some, what's it called, Rob? What do you call it? I forget what the heck it's called now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a hemming tape. Hemming, he hemming material. Hemming band yeah. or material or whatever yes, that you put at the bottom. It's, it's double banded hemming. It's double, yep. And then he's just putting it around the base of our curtains for the back curtains. And we're going to do the front ones too. But he thought he'd try the back ones first to make sure it works well. And we're just going to do that. We also, uh, yeah, we just decided we needed to get this done. Obviously the sewing machine isn't going to come along with us because we don't have room for that. But for now we're in the van and en route. So here we are. This is our spot for the night. I don't know if you can even see out there. It's pretty dark. But here we are staying for the night and an en route. <laughs> Just uh, on the highway. And I'm doing some editing. And Rob is sewing. He's kind of that cross between Martha Stewart and Grizzly Adams. Right? <laughs> the perfect man. <laughs> Say goodnight to the people, Rob. Good night to the people. Bye. Bye. Ah! <laughs> oh, you laugh. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, you're so drunk. <laughs>